Last night, the Golden State Warriors won the NBA championships, and one way that they won't be celebrating is by going to the White House. Now, you can see this tweet that claims that they have an exclusive that the NBA championship winning Warriors decided unanimously as a team that they will boycott the White House invitation to meet President Trump. Now, if you have been on the internet in the past few hours, there are some rumors that the team is saying that they haven't decided and that it's still sort of up in the air. But last month, Michelle Roberts, who is the executive director of the NBA Players Association, stated that if the Cleveland Cavaliers or Golden State Warriors won the NBA championship, neither team would accept an offer to visit the White House. Now, like I said, it's still sort of up in the air whether they will or not. But if you sort of look at some of the history from this team, I don't think it is too plausible. Now, the team's coach, Steve Kerr, has called Trump a blowhard who couldn't be more <laughs> ill-suited to be president. And he said that he used racist and misogynist words. Uh, further, one of Steph Curry's, uh, their star player, mm -hmm. if you guys are familiar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of his sponsors <laughs> is um, Under Armour. And the CEO of Under Armour said that Trump was a real asset. And Steph Curry responded by saying, I agree if you remove the ET. Oh. oh. <laughs> no one's ever flown that before. Uh, okay, so do you guys think they'll go or they won't go? Well, they haven't made an official decision. That's what I right, read. Yeah, yeah. And they haven't even received an official invite. I read. I, think, I mean, I think it's expected when it's you go, expected, like just yeah. like the, the Super Bowl winners, half of them sort of Olympians. went. I mean, it seems unlikely, judging by the coaches and the star players' former uh, words and feelings about it. I mean, this it seems to be relying, or uh, the reports right now seem to be relying a lot on this Josh Brown tweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's highly unlikely they'll go, but if individual players wanted to, I suppose. Yeah, I, I think that. If the team theoretically goes, I think that it is going to be sparsely populated with yeah. players. You might have like, you know, like some kid who's interning is like, hey, it's still the White House. And he might want to go, but I don't think a lot of the players are going to want that. Like that picture would dog them for the rest of their career. Their fans yeah. would feel betrayed. And so I want to say in advance of it happening, I apologize from all the racist comments that they're going to receive from conservative Americans mm -hmm. who attack them for not taking this opportunity to meet our jackass in chief. Yeah. Because you know it's going to happen. There's going to be more stuff spray painted on the outside of their homes, and the tweets are never going to stop from the people who are going to attack them for this. It's funny how like how often athletes face fire over this. I, do mm -hmm. I even need to mention Colin, Colin Kaepernick? You just mm -hmm. did. I did. You did. But did I need to? Because no. we know <laughs> he's got this all this backlash against him for speaking his mind, for making himself clear, yeah. for doing what he is allowed to do, which is protest. That's an American thing to do. You be pledging blind fealty to someone or whatever you may call it, it that's not the definition of patriotism. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the problem is, and I think sports are an incredible thing that I think can bring our country together, right? I think people from all different sort of political backgrounds um, like to more or less like to watch sports. But I think what happens is, is a lot of the time people look at sports players and they're like, like we own you, do this for me. Like mm -hmm. we're the, you know what I mean? They see themselves, they're like, oh, we won this or we lost this, whatever it may be. And they're like these like creatures that they think that they can just like scream obscenities at and like, you know, attack them when they uh, miss a shot, yeah. like all of these uh, insane things. And then when they find out they also have a brain and beliefs behind that, yeah. I think people lose their flipping minds. Yeah, they think that because I have cheered you for the way you extend your arm really fast. You helped. Yeah. That I mean, you don't know anything about their experience growing up. You don't know anything about who they are as a person. There's um, a, quite a bit of dehumanization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and and furthermore, one reason why I would advise them and everyone else to not go on these trips is it would be great for the White House to become basically a ghost town for the next almost four years, tragically, possibly eight. Uh, especially because there's nothing Donald Trump wants more than to be surrounded by famous people, for people to want to meet him. He wants to be accepted in that way, and I want him to suffer. But he has Ted Nugent on his side. He does have Ted Nugent, but even so he knows he'll never how be alone. Okay, he's Known an idiot. Shitter, he, Ted Nugent? Uh -huh. He's an idiot, but even he knows how pathetic that is to hang out with Ted Nugent. <laughs> even he was disappointed when Ted Nugent showed up. He wants, like he wants, like, like he what, wants, what movie's out? He wants Gal Gadot to show 
show up at the, to the White House. It's probably not going to happen, but he wants that acceptance. But I don't want him to get it, and I want him to, I want him to feel really you bad. I want him to feel all of the prickles on his thin skin. Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I want it to slowly wear him down until his inevitable de demise. <laughs> nice, real nice. Natural causes. <laughs> We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together, we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network, it's now number one, all thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger. tytnetwork.com slash join.